Efficiency means the ratio of useful energy used by a system compared to the total energy supplied to that system. It can be expressed in terms of power also by replacing the terms for energy with the terms for power. It tells you the effectiveness of the energy you are supplying to a system. Efficiency has much more to say when you think about it from a thermal point of view as it gives rise to the field of thermodynamics and its universally applied laws. In mechanics the same laws apply. It is not possible to have an efficiency ratio greater than 1. In order to do so you would need to get more useful energy out of a system than the total energy you put into the system. In any system there is always waste energy. This means that not only can you never get a ratio above 1, you can also never achieve a ratio of 1 exactly. Efficiency always has to be less than 1. Why is this? In every situation you come across or can imagine you are changing energy from one form to another. In many situations you are making a minute change from one type of energy into a very slightly different type of the same energy. For example, changing AC electricity to DC electricity. Although some systems can be very efficient, only losing a tiny amount of energy, that energy is lost in the conversion process nonetheless. The same is true for power. Power is energy divided by time, so power divided by power is energy divided by time divided by energy divided by time. A better way to put this is energy divided by time multiplied by time divided by energy. When you complete this equation, you see that the terms cancel out and leave us with unity, 1. The main aspects to remember about efficiency are that you can use energy or power, but not energy and power together. The value of efficiency is also less than 1 and you differentiate energy and power terms into useful and total. Useful being the energy you are using from the machine or system and total being all the energy types that you are supplying to a machine or system.